I was uh, inspired initially by, by the dollar sign that Warhol made, and, but I wanted to reinterpret what pop is today uh, and I believe the pop we have today is, is actually money and what it represents through all the things that we are you know, very much attracted to and we are being bombarded by the media all the time that we should get. When I have people coming into the studio, when they come into the studio they ask me, okay, so you print this and when they understand it's actual money, but it is money that's been kept in, you know, maybe a, a closet. Somebody's kept this, this, you know, this money out of circulation since its beginning because this is all uncirculated currency. This is currency that hasn't been out, out there uh, doing its job. I mean, I, if I don't have a particular currency, it's because it's just too expensive for me to, to get or sometimes it's just because you can't find them. You know, they're, 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 there's, 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 I don't know how big it is, but I believe it's, it's, it's rather big. Uh, the, the trading of currency and coins, it, it has its own big market. The bottom line of all these, like I've said before, for me, it's not about the money. It's about the value that we give to all these other things because money is just a standing ground. It's something that, that we agree and then we say, okay, we, we give it a number, we make it into a, an abstraction. And all these works in the end, if, if you look them from a distance, they are abstract pieces. When you come closer, you start to see the details and certain realities that are, you know, from a distance you would not be able to, to foresee. The best thing I can do as an artist is put the things, you know, laid them out on the table and people have their own interpretation and through their own life experiences they can, you know, come to certain conclusions or just debate with other people.